I watched a film called uh, Let the Corpse Tan. And uh, it is a Belgium film that was... Yeah, it's artsy fartsy town of bullshit. But anyway, <laughs> but anyways, I, and and I shouldn't say that because you know, like, I do like these kind of films sometimes. But it has a anyways. It's uh, it's recorded dub. It's uh, they speak French. It was recorded in, in, in Belgium, but it has like an ode to the old Italian giallo films. And you you'll hear me talk a lot about the Italian giallo films. And I don't know if I, I, I Suspiria was the only one I've subjected you to so far. Which was really good because I did Lucas like tied him up like a clockwork orange thing. That was that was the ballet school one. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> so this has had a lot of. Uh, I thought it would have better visuals, but it was done by the Belgium. Give you an idea who produced it was done by the Belgium Tax Shelter Pictures. In other words, to write off their taxes, they just did this film, and it has, like I said, it's just some great visuals. Uh, you know, it, it is in French and it's called Let the Corpse Tan. And there's this a uh, lot of scenes where they're going back and forth to uh, like this young model that they did or, you know, did shoots with and all this kind of thing. So it was really up my alley because they did a lot of uh, effects like slow motion sparkles and stuff like that and uh, give you an idea. I think it's more of less of these of like these middle-aged crisis thieves, you know what I'm saying? Going through a midlife crisis and thinking about their glory days back in the day when they didn't have to rob banks and stuff. And then they're pursued by these police officers. And I thought it would get darker as the movie went on. It didn't really go dark. Uh, visually, I thought it could be a little bit better, but the music was so... It utilized that whole Italian giallo music really, really well. Great visuals, very... Very film noir, very film surreal, and I love foreign films. Yeah, man. they're like, just so different. Well, like this one had so many odes to the older films that I can't really say they did anything really, really new. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like there's this uh, uh, very artistic S and M type scene, and it's like really done really, really well. I'd probably say probably to because like say when you think about like S and M stuff, uh, it's really not like really artistic. It's like for uh, you know in a perverse way, but this was done so well where it was like they did like these neat little reverse shots and stuff like that, where it like really became like a very artistic S and M type scene because they're going back into that days where they had this I don't know girl that was back and wherever they're at and like i said i think it is kind of reflecting the glory days and these people are getting older and so they're thinking about like during the days when free love was a thing and that was okay and cool and now it's like kind of taboo and uh all this stuff that they did for art in the 60s and 70s which was cool now they're trying to just do this new world of you know they've kind of push themselves off an island and they're just robbing banks and stuff to survive like there's scenes where they got like machine guns and they they when they go home it's one of the best scenes is when they go home which is their little hideout off the beach there and it's beautiful i mean just a beautiful setting and they go out there and you see them loading up their guns in this big old black uh uh you know little turn around leather case i don't know how you say it. and they load them up and they just put them up and they just put in their little little hole right there in the little hideout because nobody comes out and sees them because they're out in the middle of nowhere and so then eventually these cops come out to get them and uh it really you know kind of stirs up things a little bit more and uh but it, it's interesting i'm not going to say that everybody's going to get it like i said when you watch a lot of film you have to feed off new stuff because uh, you see the same thing over and over again. And uh, if you like music and you like music videos, uh, this is a great ode to that. It's just beautiful. Uh, you just don't see kind of that utilization of that Spanish and Italian music. A lot of these, a lot of these films don't know how to use it. You know, Quentin Tarantino tries. He did real good with Django. 
I love the music in Django. I think it's great music. He just utilized that so well. And this is kind of like with this one. They really utilize that music really, really well. So I, I don't know as far as plot. It, it's not the original plot. I think it's more about visuals. If you like the neat little visuals, maybe you could get some ideas for a photo shoot out of it. I thought about sending it to you like bits and pieces, but I really didn't find anything that was extraordinary that you and I could pull off. You know what I'm saying? If it, something really yeah. caught my eye, I was like, I'm going to send this scene to you, see if we can do something. Like, but it didn't really catch my eye. But, but anyways, yeah, that's, a lot of yeah. See, and then I'll, I'm going to like splice together. Yeah. So I, I totally get that. I totally get right, that. Right, but it wasn't. But what was that one about? Yeah, it wasn't like really great to the point where I could share it with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whereas, who's your daddy?